The purpose of this video is to raise awareness of scamming. Scamming is the illegal practice of deliberately misdiagnosing errors and or issues with individuals' computers in order to convince those individuals to pay, often large sums of money, for software and services that they don't need. This video in no way focuses on specific ethnic, religious, political or social groups or individuals. No offence is intended. Scamming is illegal, no matter who does it and where in the world they do it. Hopefully, by watching this video, potential victims of scamming can avoid the time, cost and embarrassment of being lied to and taken advantage of. Thank you for understanding, and please enjoy the video. Thank you for calling Support Center. You are speaking with Nelson. How can I help you? Uh, hi, um, my computer is just not working right, and i got a pop-up with your phone number on. Can you help? Okay, no other problem, sir. I'm more than happy to help you. Can you please let me know, like, what were you doing on your computer when you get that pop-up? Oh, well, I, I just turned it on. And it just Turn it on, okay. And can you please read out the message that you're getting on the screen? Well, I got a shock and I closed it, but um, I think it came up the other day with your phone number on and it said something along the lines of tech support, um, call this number to help. Okay, okay. And may I know, sir, like, is that your personal computer or your office computer? Personal. <clears throat> personal. Okay, let me inform you first. I believe you are getting a, you are using a Windows computer, is that right? Yeah. Okay, let me inform you, sir. The message that you get before is that that is a Windows alert message. Whenever your computer gets detected with any kind of virus, any threats, or any some people like unauthorized people, then the Windows message comes up on the screen to call on that number. That is an inbuilt number for the Microsoft certified technician. So that when you call on that number, your call can be landed to us to resolve the problem. So right now, what I can do is that I'll, I'll go ahead and check your computer problem and check like if your computer have what kind of virus or unauthorized people that have the access of your computer. So what you need to do, sir, you need to follow some simple step in order to resolve the issue, okay? Right. Okay, perfect. Just look down on the keyboard. On the bottom left corner, you'll see a Windows key, like a four flag key. Right. Can you see that one, sir? Yeah. Okay, hold down that key, sir. Hold it down. Right. And while holding it down, press the letter R for Romeo. So do I hit keep the Windows one held, or do I get Ye rid of Yes, sir. You need to pro press the both the key at the same time. Right, okay. Yeah, I've done that. And may I know, like, what comes up on the screen? It's a little box in the corner. Okay, and I believe it's a run box, right? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Okay, on the run box, sir, you need to type down, I like Indiana. The what? Type I for Indiana. Okay. E like Edward. Okay. X like X-ray. Okay. P like Peter. Right. L like Lima. Right. O like Oscar. Okay. R for Romeo. Okay. E for Edward. Okay. Then leave a space. A space, like a space bar space. Uh, yes, sir. Right. And tap support. Like I'm supporting you. Okay. S U P P O R T. Support. Okay. Put a dot. Oh dear, it says not responding. What, do I just have to wait for it now? Yeah, just wait for a little time, sir. Okay. Oh, it seems to be working. And may again. I ask. Okay, it is working, right? It looks like it, yeah. After support, a dot, sir. Like a dot, or do I type dot? No, no, just like a dot sign, like a period. Right, okay. And type me, M like Mike, E like Edward. Okay. Now, can you please spell it out for me? What do you have typed down over there? Um, it's an I-E-X-P-L-O-R-E -E dot E-X-E, and then it's a gap, and then um, S-U-P-O-R-T dot me. Uh, sir, it should be I E X P L O R E space S U P P O R T dot M E. Oh, so two P's. Yes, sir, two P's. All right. Oh, I'll just close it. Just and let me type that again. Can you say it again? Sorry. Sh I like Indiana. Okay. E. Okay. X. Yeah. P. Yeah. L. Yeah. O. Yeah. R. Yeah. E. Yeah. And a space. Right. 
and tap support. S U P P O R T. Like I'm supporting you. Right. Put a dot and tap M like Mike, E like Edward. Okay. And what to do now? And uh, please click OK. Okay. Right, it's loading up Internet Explorer, it says. Mm hmm. And after that, what comes up on the screen? Uh, a website says support connection. Okay, and did it ask you to type any six digit code, sir? Uh, yeah, it's got a box in the middle that says type. Okay, uh, okay, let me provide you a six digit code for you. May I have your name, please, sir? Your name? My name. Mm -hmm. um, my name's Steve. Steve, okay, just give me a moment. Let me provide you with a code. Okay, the six digit code for you will be one five three. Yeah. Three four four. Right. Do I press that download? Yes, sir. It says run, save or cancel. Click on run. Okay. Now it says run and don't run and more options. Click on run, sir. Okay. <coughs> It says user and if it account uh, is enabled. Press OK. OK, please click OK, sir. OK. And now it says yes or no. Yes, please click on the positive option. Yes. OK, now you'll get one more option. You need to press OK. Oh, there we go. OK. Okay, you have done a great job, sir. I really appreciate your help. You're connected with me. Can you see the mouse cursor moving? Yeah. This is me, and let me inform you that you are the primary user. I'm just a secondary user. Now your computer is connected to the safe and secure server so that I can go ahead and check the problem and resolve the issue, okay? Okay. And uh, and you, and may I know on which browser that uh, you get the message? Um, it was Internet Explorer, I think. I think it, it looked like this one. Okay, let me check that one. And you told me that uh, you were just turning up the computer and this came up, right? Yeah, I just turned on the computer and it came up with a box and it, it said that Windows wasn't working or something. Okay, no need to worry. I'll go ahead and check that one. Okay, what I'll do is this, sir. First, let me go ahead and run a scan on your network, okay? okay. And check if your computer has any unauthorized people or not. And may I know what do you use this computer for? Well, it's my only computer, so I use it for everything. Sorry? It's my only computer and I use it for everything, like banking and, and family photos and all sorts. Okay, just give me a moment. May I know, sir, like which Windows you are using, like Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10? I think it's Windows 7. Windows 7, okay, just give me a moment. I'm running a scan on your network, so let me check the problem. It was a friend that installed it, does that make a difference? Okay, okay, just give me a moment, let me check. Okay, right now you are... Uh, how old is this computer, by the way, sir? Um, it, it's not that old, a friend gave it to me, because he was getting a oh. new one. 
We've okay. only had it for a week or two. A week or two, okay. And so that means that uh, you are the only person who uses this computer, right? I am, yeah. Okay, sir, the scan has been completed, sir. Do you see over here it's active connection address and foreign address? Mm -hmm. Okay, sir, the local address, this is the internet protocol address for you. When you connect to the network, this is your address, like your identity, okay? Okay. And the foreign address are all the foreign unauthorized people who have the access of this computer, who have already hacked in this computer. So the problem is that if this foreign address get into your banking information or your e email, they might misuse your information, sir. But they also not established here, so does that not mean that they're not using it? Sir, not establishment, uh, they haven't still some of your information. Right now they have the access of this computer. So why does it say not established? Shouldn't it say established the, if they've got access? Uh, no, no. The not established means that they haven't get into this computer and steal your information. They have the access of this computer, but they haven't started stealing your information. Oh, well, at least they've not done it yet. Yes, they haven't what done. About, what so about I this one here that says not a hacker? Yeah, the, that is your IP address, sir. That's an IP address? It's, it's your identity, that you are not a hacker. Okay. Well, I'm not a hacker, so I'm glad it knows that. Just, just a moment, sir. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. What what I can see is that so your computer has been hacked, your network has been hacked, sir. Right. So what can I do about that? Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm I'm still here with you, sir. I'm I'm running a diagnosis on your computer, sir. And right now, sir, as your computer has been connected to the Microsoft network support, your computer have problem that is like virus and unauthorized people. Right. So can we fix so you that? Need to, uh, fixed? In order to fi sorry. Can that be fixed or is it just broken for everyone? Uh, I can fix it? your computer problem, sir. I'll go ahead and fix that. But you need to pay in order to fix that, sir. There will be charge, sir. Right. How much would that be? It will be uh, around, it depends on your computer, so it will be around 100 to uh, 500 dollars. Uh, you can get like, for a one-time fixation, I'll write down over here, it will be 100 dollars. And a complete one-year support, it will be 199 dollars. Okay. And a complete three-year support, it will be 299 dollars. And if you want a lifetime support, it will be five ninety nine dollar for the lifetime. So these are the price time for oh, well, it, if you want to fix it. It's not a laptop though. It's a computer. It's a desktop computer. Sir, sir, it, it's, it, this is a computer. Yes, sir. Yeah. I know that. You are using a desktop Windows Seven computer. Well, I call it a desktop, but yeah. Sorry. I'd call it a desktop, but I guess it could be called a desktop, depending on what you want. I'm not getting you. So how do we go about fixing my desktop? Uh, I'll go ahead and uh, walk on your computer, man, like remotely, sir. Like this, like this thing. I'll go ahead and walk on your computer remotely. You don't need to go anywhere to take this computer. Okay, so can I not just send it to you? Would that not be easier? Sorry? Could I not just send it to you in the post? Would that not be a bit easier? Sir, uh, your network has been hacked, sir. So you can take this computer, but your network has cannot be taken to a store to a post, sir. That's the problem. Oh, okay. So we need to fix this computer remotely in order to resolve the computer problem. So okay. the charge might be uh, from $100 to $600. Okay. So you can choose whatever you want. You want a one-time, one-year, three-year, lifetime, it's up to you. Um, can we do the top one? The $100? Yeah. Okay, uh, you uh, you can do the $100 one. You can write down over here. And please provide me for the registration, so your name. 
email, your address, your phone number, mode of payment, your car number, expiration debt, and CV. Please uh, help me with these details for sir, for the registration. Right. Um. So my name is. Uh, yes, sir. Steve. You can write down by yourself. Um, my email address um, is. is um, Uh, what's this one? What do I add? Your address, sir. Your address. Alright, um, um, the phone, like, you want me to give your you phone, phone number? number. Yes, sir. In uh, like in case if the call got disconnected, we can go uh, give you a call back. Or if there's anything we can uh, need a query, we can call you back on the numbers. Right. Um. And mode of payment like a Visa card or a Mastercard. Okay. What now? V like a Visa card or a Mastercard. Oh, can I not pay cash? Uh, sorry. Could I not pay cash? Sir, so we need to fix this computer remotely, so you need to pay through Visa card or MasterCard. How much check? Visa card or MasterCard? Um, business card? Is it a Visa card or MasterCard? I think it's the first one. The Visa card. Uh, you need, uh, can you please help me with your card number? Um, are we meant to give card numbers over the internet? Is it secure? Uh, so, uh, if in, right now you're connected to a Microsoft network support, so everything is safe and secure. So at any time, we can go ahead and purchase through online. So, so that's you, the you reason. The hackers are already in my computer stealing all my Yes, sir, the hackers has already hacked in your computer, but right now you're connected with me. So at this time, we can go ahead and purchase through online. At this time, you're connected with me. So at this time, we can go ahead and block the hackers, and we can do online transactions at this time, sir. Everything is safe and secure, sir. Uh, okay, then, I guess so. What's okay, and the expiration, um, the expiration month and the year, and the CVV they will be on the back of the card, the three-digit number. Okay. And uh, can you please confirm me the name that will be appear on your card? It is Steve Spencer. Yes, yeah, Steve J Spencer. Okay. Okay, and you wanna get the a one-time fixation that will be just for the one time, or which one you wanna get, sir? The top one. Okay. I uh, if uh, but as a recommendation for me, sir, uh, if uh, you can hundred at hundred more dollars, you can get for the complete one year sec uh, tech support from the Microsoft Network support, sir. But according to your writing, it's it's ninety nine more dollars. Sorry. What's the extra dollar for? Because if I go for the one year one, you've already written down. No, no. Ninety nine more dollars. The the one the one time will be hundred dollars the one time fixation just to fix your computer problem. But if you want to uh, uh, have a full one year support, then you can add hundred more dollars. That will be at almost hundred and ninety nine dollars for the one year. So if you can add ninety nine dollars more, you can get for the complete one year. I don't really have ninety nine more dollars. Okay, uh, just go for the hundred dollars. Okay. Okay. Just give me a moment, sir. Uh, uh, let me go ahead and, and do this uh, process. Help you the, with the fixation. Let me do the transaction from my server. Just give me a moment, sir. Okay.
Why are you still with me, sir? Yeah, I'm just having some food, but all right. Uh, just give me uh, one to two minutes, sir. I'm doing the transaction from my server, okay? Okay. Uh, never mind for my silence. I'll be there with Are you still there? Hello? Hello? Are you still there? Hello, I need my computer fixed. Are you still there? Are you still there? I need my computer fixed. <coughs> Hello? Hello? Can you hear me?
Yes, sir, I'm still here. I'm still here. Can you hear me, sir? Yeah, I just, I'm desperate to get my computer fixed. I really need it tonight. Uh, sorry? I'm just desperate to get my computer fixed. I really need it tonight. Yes, sir, sir. Uh, yes, sir, it will be fixed in 30, 30 minutes, 30 to 40 minutes. I'm doing the transaction from my server, so the uh, server is not working right now, so it will take at least two to three minutes more, sir. I really uh, appreciate your time and patience, sir. Can you please allow me give me at least two to three minutes, sir? Right. Okay, do not hang up the call, sir, okay? Okay. And never mind for my silence, I'll be back with you once the transaction goes through, sir. Just be with me. Okay. Are you still with me, sir? I am, yeah. Uh, sir, can you please confirm me your state, sir? To confirm what? The state. What bit? Uh, I'm writing down on the notepad. What's the state? Yes, sir, your state. What do you mean by that? You're at, like, you are in Gre London, London, Manchester, I'm in Birmingham. Birmingham. Right? Yeah. Okay, just give me a moment. But that's not how you spell Birmingham. It's not how I spell Birmingham. I'm not getting it. That's not how you spell Birmingham. Okay, can you please uh, type it by yourself, sir? Can I what? Can you type down the real spelling? Yeah. Oh, Birmingham. Yeah. Oh, I, uh, sorry, sir.
How long is this going to take so I really need to get ready for my dinner party tonight? Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? How long will it be? Because I need to get ready for my dinner party. Uh, uh, sir, uh, I'm doing a transaction, but on the state it doesn't show Birmingham, sir. So that's why I need to confirm you. Oh, well, I'm in Birmingham. Uh, your, the address that you provide with me is 86 Park Road, Eden Bridge, right? Yeah. The, when I check the uh, your address, it doesn't appear as uh, Birmingham as a state, sir. Well, that's like, where I am, like London and stuff. Like, uh, you can let me know, like the, uh, like the state, like is it London or and the city? Help me with the city also. Well, Birmingham is a city. Birmingham is the city. Yeah. And uh, the Edinburgh, what, uh, what is the Edinburgh, sir? That's just part of the address. That's just what my house is. Okay. Okay. And uh, and the state. Let me check the state, sir. Let me check the state. Like uh, like the state, like uh, London, Manchester, well, Edinburgh. London and Manchester are both cities. Okay, London, sir. So, uh, like Greater London, Greater Manchester is uh, is a state, sir. Well, London is a city. But Could the, it be uh, Warwickshire you're looking for? Sorry. Could it be Warwickshire you're looking for? Let me uh, let me check that one, sir, from Google. You are in. Uh, I'm sorry for taking lots of time, sir. I'm sorry for that, sir. I'm running out of time. I've only got about five minutes before I need to be getting ready. Okay, just give me that five minutes, sir. I'll be uh, go ahead and walk on uh, your computer, sir. Because the reason why uh, the payment was not right, going was not going to is that uh, right now you require at least a city and a state. So right now I can't find any city and state on your comp for you, sir. So there's the reason. When I tell you 86 Pablo Edinburgh. I didn't found any city, any state, sir. If you help me with that, then it would have done, sir. Well, I've tried to help you. Uh, you can let me know, sir, like the state. You can uh, tap it down on the notepad, sir. Could it be Warwickshire? Warwickshire, okay. Uh, just, give, just give me one minute, sir. Uh, I'll go ahead and check with that one. Warwickshire, might be Warwickshire. And the city is Birmingham, right? Yeah. Okay, just give me one minute, sir.
Hello? 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 Can you hear me, sir? Yeah. I'm with you. Just give me a moment. I'll be right back, okay? Well, uh, I'm, I'm very getting needing to go. Just give me a few more seconds. Let me get back to you. I feel like it's probably a good time to tell you that you're never going to get anywhere with those details. Well, I've been transferred back to the same technicians who are going to be working onto your computers. Just give me two more seconds, okay? Okay. Thank you. Thank you for staying online, sir. Are you still with me? Uh, yeah. Okay, sir. Uh, you can leave this computer for 30 to 50 minutes. Uh, I'll go ahead and walk on your computer. And once the wire is done, I'll give you a confirmation call on your number, sir. I feel like now will probably be a good time to tell you, though, that you're never going to get any of those details I gave you. Uh, sir, the details is uh, safe and secure, sir. I'm not authorized to use any of your personal information with me, sir. We are not authorized to do that. So I've, uh, you can uh, write down the... To uh, you can do one thing, sir. You can grab a pen and paper. You can write down the toll fee number, sir. Okay. Uh, and the transaction, uh, I'm charging your payment uh, through my server, sir. It was, it was not true right now, sir. Right now, you told me that you have work to do, right? It, uh, you're never going to get it to go through because it's just a random load of numbers because it's not actually a card. And uh, I just called because I was bored. This is actually a virtual machine that you're using. I know, I know. As, as if I don't know, huh? I know this thing. Because you are using a window, you I know what you are doing. As if I don't know. As if I'm going to give you a toll-free number. You asshole. I've already you don't got know who one. Me, who I told you. You don't know who I am. Well, I've already got a, a, a free phone number for you. Which number? Just give me one second. I'll just check it. Yeah. Just bear with me a oh, one second. I just need to sign into my phone management system. You know, I can just go back to a snapshot because it's not gonna. I can just go back for here. Just give me a moment, sir. I know what 50 is, you know. No, no, I'm just trying to uh, give you a uh, code for your computer, sir. Yeah, a start code. I'll type down the code for you, sir, if you don't mind, sir. No, no, don't worry. I'll do it for you. No, don't worry, don't worry. So, uh, right now, where are you from, sir? Where am I from? Does it matter to you? Uh-huh. How? Sorry? How does it matter to you? Sorry? Your number is 0800-066-2142. How is that going to help? Your number is 0800-066-2164. Sorry, uh, can you please repeat that again, sir? I've just told you a phone number. You don't need me to tell you again. Uh, 800, yes, go ahead, sir. 0800-066-2164. Yes, sir, that is the number, sir. So you can call me on that number if you have problem. As if that is not our number, asshole. You, asshole. That is not my number. Well, that's how I got to you. That is, the, uh, that is the global number. I don't know who I am. As if I will not know this kind of thing. Well, I can still... I'm not, I just did it uh, good. Uh, you don't know how to get this thing off also. So you are trying to mess with the boss. Remember. What's your name, by the way, sir? My name's Steve. Steve. Okay. So right now uh, you are in London, right? No, I'm in Birmingham. Birmingham. Okay. Where are you getting an Eaton from? Sorry? Why are you looking at the personal details file? 
No, I'm just looking like what, uh, I'm just looking what is this file. Well, there's nothing on this computer that's going to be of any use to you. Yes, I know. I know from the first time I know this is a virtual machine. I'm just making, uh, w wasting my time. Wasting well, your time also. Well, I've got plenty of time to waste. You're the one at work. I'm the one at work. I have lots of time. I don't mind spending with you, sir. Alright, okay. So like uh, well, what do like what? Why are you trying to put Siski on a virtual a machine? Huh? It's a brain. And may I know the the visa that you provided with me is that uh is that your card, sir? No, that's not anyone's card. That's just a bunch of random numbers. Okay, so uh, like, uh, it's really nice talking with you, sir. Have a great day ahead. I'll give you a call once I'm free, okay? I have your number. Alright, okay. This number is a disposable uh, number, though. I have your number, so I, I'll give you a call. I have it's your IP address number. also. What is my IP I have your IP. I have your IP address, so uh, why would I give you uh, your IP address? I have your IP address. Well, I know my IP address, so what, what yeah, do you then think that's good, that's good. That's good, sir. That's what good. do you think my IP address is? Because I already know it. I should probably tell you that that's fake command prompt to using as well. <laughs> Type tree when this is finished. Tree tree doesn't work, sir. Like tree is very short for me, sir. You will, you can it, do though. this. You can't do anything. I've made it. Type tree. That's all it does because it's a fake command prompt. <laughs> it's nice, sir. It's nice. <laughs> I'll I'll use one more command for you. Okay. And that one's got preset things. I've told it that it'll come with the same thing every single time without fail. Just a moment. Just a moment. Let me let me t uh, provide you one command, sir. That isn't gonna work. That's not gonna work. It's exactly the same every time. That's why it says not a hacker. It's nice. This one is nice for me. Do you like it? Yes, sir. I like it. I like it very much. So apart from this tree, do you have anything? Like anything? Does that can that can make me in, impressive. Well, it depends what you think is impressive. I can't remember everything this it does off the top of my head, but it does quite a few things. <laughs> yeah, it's very like there's lots of things. That's why. Because uh, when at the first time when I check your computer, I know from this thing. Because right now <laughs> you're over here from this, I realize that this is a virtual machine. Yeah.
So I was just only. like, yeah, I know. So I was just doing like wasting your time. So it's not really wasting my time because I wanted to do it. That's just. Have you not noticed they're all like 1990s? <laughs> okay, this one is nice. No virus fall. Okay, sir, it's li really nice talking with you, sir. I'll give you a call once the uh, once I'm free, sir. Okay. Have a nice day. Have a nice Bye. day, sir. Bye-bye.